It's a fictional account of a very real issue. Kenya, I love you. Black women in interracial relationships. Screenwriter Chris Turner originally titled her script 42.4 percent. At the time, the percentage of black women who had never been married. The film, later renamed Something New, explores their options for finding a mate. Anytime you get together with uh, a bunch of single black professional women, uh, the conversation will eventually lead to, um, you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do about the, the no husband situation? <laughs> are we going to have to go there? Meaning, are we going to have to go outside of our race to, you know, to do this marriage thing? For many, the answer is yes. The number of black women marrying interracially has steadily increased. In 2000, 95,000 black women were married to white men. As of last year, there are 117,000 such couples. Black women overwhelmingly still seek out black men, but the number of interracial marriages is growing. Greg Zenin and Jaquetta Zathmari just joined the ranks. We had our wedding in Central Park. The newlyweds met in 2004 when Jaquetta posted an ad on Craigslist specifically looking for a white man. I've always dated white guys. Those are the type of guys that always approach me, and I guess I was comfortable with that. That comfort zone is getting crowded. In an online survey, 81% of those polled by Essence.com say they approve of black women in interracial relationships. One reason for the increase in interracial dating may simply be access. As black women continue to make strides in the workplace, they often move into new social circles. They're in environments where they're meeting um, men that they perhaps haven't had an opportunity to meet in the past. As portrayed in Something New, black women's professional success can also work against them when seeking a mate. Those odds are completely against us. Some say they have a hard time meeting black men who can match their professional accomplishments. That imbalance is foreshadowed in the classroom, where 64% of black college students are women at some schools, they outnumber black men seven to one. It's a standard that a black woman wants and deserves, but it's not enough black men who are up to par or what they're looking for. And so some are starting to look elsewhere, especially in cyberspace. I think what broadened my horizons was internet dating. The online world is full of interracial dating resources. There are blogs like Date a White Guy and White Men Who Prefer Black Women and dating sites like interracialmatch.com. But while there may be growing acceptance of interracial dating, there is also still some resistance. People in our communities will kind of put their hands on us and say, what are you doing? How do you respond mm -hmm. to people in the black community who would say, you're a sellout? Unless you're going to find me somebody that wants to go out with me, then please don't judge me. The idea that you would choose someone just because of the color of their skin is as offensive as, you know, avoiding someone for the same reason. For Jaquetta, her decision to date interracially has led to happiness and love, a Hollywood ending, just like in the movies. I love you. Mara Schiavocampo, NBC News, New York.